Uh, Chege, uh, and of course, so you have that to look forward to. Now, moving on, entrepreneurs have been asked to incorporate advices in their daily operations to minimize their risk as they start off. Now, according to Ben Gitao, who runs a foundation that works with small scale enterprises, some of the costly mistakes can be avoided if entrepreneurs understood their market, researched on the risk, and uh, as well as having advices to help them in managing their profit and expenses. So enterprising in SME, we deal with those small SME or micro enterprise business that their level of employment is below, is between five people to 20 people. So we talk of a small business enterprise. One of the benefits adversary of doing such kind of business, you know very well, entrepreneurship is the key to every citizen. It's the key for the economy, it's the key for the future. That is one of the main reasons and adversary that we should focus on. When everybody is able to, to stand for himself without the issue of self-employment will, will reduce backlog of employment that will foster economic growth. Profiling, you start finding the feasibility study and understanding the niche of the community. What does the community need? What type of business are they doing? Are they doing them legally or illegally? So you do a feasibility study. That is the first profiling. Then also you do the market niche. You also do training because you need to train them to understand what type of a business are they doing? The factor to consider when a sole proprietor or an entrepreneur should consider is where the business is supposed to be located. And that will determine the capital availability to start a business. Is it an open market or a closed market? You understand the theory of market and equilibrium. Where the demand is high, like now you go to Soko, you find people are many there. Why? Because that's where people are assembling. That is called an open market. And then a closed market is now where people have stores. They enclose them mm -hmm. where they are. So uh, site is one of the factors where you want to settle the business. Demand of the market. What does the people need? What type of products do you need to sell? So in partnership, mostly, it varies... Uh, though it's not much, I will consider a sole proprietor because partnership clause is not permanent. It will have what we call the conflict of interest. Even if it will take time, there will be a problem and that will destroy your vision and maybe what you needed to do in business. Mm -hmm. I will advocate for sole proprietorship. And when you talk of partnership, uh, the more you have more partners, the more you have problems on decision making. So most affecting area of partnership, major areas affected, it is the, uh, this issue of decision making. Because when you're running a sole proprietorship alone, the, your decision is you and you, whether you make it wrong or right, all right. So understanding the micro business enterprise also need you to understand the scalability of a product. How, how is it going, how the demand is in the market? Uh, I would say business requires patience. And articulating the market and articulating the products, articulating the nature of business young people will require, I will adapt or tell them or advise them, uh, they focus mostly on agribusiness. Agribusiness, does not require much of it because these people you hear in the, 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 the urban areas, they used to live in rural areas. All right, and of course, uh, that conversation.